Hey guys, welcome back in Korea Bangla YT. And if you want to make your own uh, Google login system and you want to save your user data to your firewalls authentication, so this video will be help you without any mode APK or any mode component. I will show you, and I also give you the full source code so you can easily grab them and just copy and paste and use. Okay, I already upload a website as you can see with the name it code email we give you this website link so you find the whole the image source you find the whole the co uh, code so you can need to just copy and paste also you find the codes guides that why you need to which block you need to add why you need to add okay i already write everything so you can use them okay so let's see so first of all i already connected with my app with my or my project with my firewalls uh project okay so it will be working and also then you need to make sure that uh, you set your firewalls authentication enable okay make sure okay now i already as you can see i already add this image with uh, sync with google I, uh, image so if you don't have this just click on this that uh, download the google image so just click on this download now and it will be open your google drive and there you can download the, your image and save your new device okay so one is done you need to click on the image event that on click and then go at operator and add source with directly okay so at the add source directly you need to uh, paste this code okay this will be help you to pick uh, the google accounts from your device okay so then you need to just paste it at here okay like this just copy and paste nothing else okay now save this okay now if i just test you okay let's test this app that are it speaking any files or not but make sure that you need to add a file pickup system or it will be it will be not work okay so make sure so let's go at components so add here you need to add that file pick like this that file pick and then at the minimize as you can see i already give you that or uh, you need to sell it to all like you can pick any type of files okay like this okay now let's see that are it speaking uh, our google drive from our, uh, all the google drive account from our device or not okay guys so here is our app as you can see the firewall test okay this one and now let's click on the sing it with google icon and as you can see the whole of my uh, google accounts now come so now we can pick okay so okay now it's working done let's go at our websites and as you can see at on the file picking you need to on the file pick you need to add this code okay so let's copy this code make sure you, you copy uh right one don't do any mistake copy the whole codes goodly okay then at the file pickup that on file pick you need to go at operator and then add source with directly and then you need to paste this code okay this will be uh get your uh, which one you picked it will be get the data from there and it will be set uh, by filter by user email address and passwords okay okay now we need the email address and the password for completing our authentication so for do that we need to add as you can see there's a i already write that you need to add a more block with name with that on account pick okay you need to set like this same com, uh, more block okay make sure you didn't change anything okay then uh, as you can see at the more block i said already uh, or i already told that set uh, the name with a uh, name or it's will be not work okay make sure you set this name okay like you need to set with the void okay so make sure you set like this let me show you that first of all you need to uh, set the variable name with by void that uh, email okay email uh, you find uh, like this uh, that email okay then you need to set it like this that add then set it to that or you can also set it if you want as you can see the email will be not work so we need that string variable okay so set it your boolean to string okay so the string so that email address so we can use that so add as you can see the email and that one, one more string to password okay password now click on add so as you can see the email address and the password has come now we need to we can set a uh, create a two string variable with the email and password 
okay then we need to set this like that email and password and this password like this and email like this okay so one is complete so as you can see now we need to upload it to our authentication so let's go add component and now we, we can create a authentication so add uh, here let's add a author components and then here we'll be set it to create authentication and go at the variable email and passwords okay then let's give a notification at here as you can see that when our account is created successfully it will be should uh, it will be show a message that successful okay like or done so let's give it that as you double see a successful okay and if there's any euro message so it will be display like that okay so guys it will be very uh, useful to use and you find all the source code okay so you don't need to worry about worry anything if you feel any type of problem you can comment this in my comments i must give you reply so don't worry okay now let's say completing our build uh, then we'll be then i show you what's how it's working okay guys so as you can see here's our app is now installed and here's my authentication as you can see there's a no user let's say uh, the sync method to make sure you enable the email address and password and you don't need to set the google but if you want you can select like this and make sure you set your configuration and you don't need to set like this just click on save okay so i just show you the pro uh, the process that how you need to set up okay you don't need to set any of a uh, server field data or something else just click on done okay and as you can see here's our google is enabled and email address is enabled so let's go at user okay so now let's test our app so let's click on sync with google as you can see my all the accounts are come so let's set my test account and click on ok and as you can see it's still that success so it's meant that our user data came in now our story uh, in our authentications okay so let's refresh it and let's check as you can see our account is now at here so now we can log in and do, we can do anything so i just hope you like my video if you have any question you can comment in my comment box thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye if you have any request you can also comment in my comment box thank you